As a Twitch streamer, you're not going to be online 24-7, so when you're offline and viewers visit your channel, it's important to inform them when you'll be back next and show them other ways to find your content. Having a great looking Twitch offline screen allows you to promote your streaming schedule, inform your subscribers with updates, and it gives you the ability to promote other social media channels. So we've gone through Twitch banners, we've gone through Twitch panels, but in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Twitch offline screen by repurposing some custom templates that will be suitable for your channel. So let's get right into it. So before we get started, what you wanna do first is make sure that you have the right Twitch offline banner size so that your offline screen meets Twitch's requirements. So the recommended Twitch offline banner size is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And this is an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. When designing and creating a video player banner for Twitch, you wanna make sure that your file size is under 10 megabytes in size and that your file format is either a GIF, a JPEG, or a PNG. To simplify the process, I'm going to be using Snappa's free Twitch offline screen maker. So I'll start by navigating down to headers and banners, and from here I'll select the Twitch offline banner option. So once I'm in, you can see that the offline banner dimensions are already set in place. So now we can either choose to create a template from scratch, or we can choose from a variety of different free custom templates that Snappa offers. So since I like the layout of this offline screen here, I'm going to select it to repurpose. Once you've selected a template and you have the canvas open, we can now begin to customize our design. So what I'm going to do first is double click on the text in the center and add my channel name in. So I'll type in Nick's Gaming. I'm also going to increase the size of the text box so that the text fits properly. Now I'll double click on the second one and add in Gaming. Once I'm done that, I'm going to reposition it so that they're both center. So the font right now doesn't really suit my channel's branding, so I'll double click on the font. On the left side here, I can change the font style to the font style of choice. Once I'm done that, I'm going to do the exact same to the text box right below. And I'm going to increase the size of the text box and reposition it into the center. Once I'm happy with the text in the center, I'm actually going to change the image in the background. So I'll navigate to the background tab in the top left here. From here, I can choose a different photo. I can select a simple background pattern. I can upload my own image. I can choose a colored background. But in this case, I'm going to select a photo background. And since my channel is about gaming, I'm going to search gaming. Once I found the photo that I like in the image library, I'm going to click on it. As it appears on the canvas, I can reposition it if I want by clicking the reposition button. From here, I can scale in and I can also adjust where I want it to be. Once I'm done doing that, I'll click apply. So now that I'm happy with my offline banners visuals, I'm going to customize my streaming schedule as well as my social media icons to fit my profile. So what I'm gonna do is start by double clicking on the live stream text down here. Instead of Fridays at 10 p.m., I'm gonna switch this to weekends at 5 p.m. I'm also gonna increase the size of this text box and I'm gonna decrease the size of the text so that it fits properly. Now if I wanted to, I could switch this icon here by clicking on it, clicking the delete layer button, and I can navigate to the graphics tab. I can search an icon that I like, so in this case, say video, and I could replace it with any icon that I want. But in this case, I actually like the icon that was in the template, so I'll keep it as that. So now all that's left for me to do is to replace these social media handles with my social media handles. So I'll double click on them. I'll type in Nick underscore Lee for my Twitter, for my YouTube, let's just say Snappa. And for my Instagram, I'll type in my Instagram handle, so at nick.ly. Once I'm done that, I'm gonna reposition everything so that it fits perfectly on the graphic. And just like that, we have a Twitch offline banner. Once you're done your Twitch offline screen, what you wanna make sure is that you rename it and that you also save it in Snappa so that you can make modifications in the future. To download it, I'm gonna navigate to the right side here and click download. And I'd recommend downloading it as a Retina JPEG for the best possible quality. If you're looking to add or change an offline banner in Twitch, check out our blog post that I linked in the description below as I outline everything in detail with some screenshots. If you want me to make a video on this, leave a comment down below and if I have enough demand, I'll go ahead and make a detailed video on that as well. So that's it for today's design tutorial. If you're looking to learn more about Twitch offline screens and video player banners, check out the blog post that I linked down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to our channel and I'll continue to make more and more Twitch content for you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.